Hi guys, it's Anna from Southern Charm. I'm just gonna do a really, really fast intro for this video. Today is a wonderful day. Our church built a fellowship hall, and this weekend, we are all having some special meetings to dedicate the fellowship hall. So um, there's gonna be a great big huge potluck, and there's been lots of painting and decorating and cooking going on. And I do apologize, this is a very hodgepodge, quickly put together video, but it's been crazy busy. I'm just taking a real quick second to film this first part of the video. Yesterday was very busy. I did my cooking for the potluck, and I'm going to share a recipe, my all-time favorite potluck recipe with you guys. It is so easy. It's actually, it's not a recipe. You just kind of do it. There's no way to mess it up. So I'm sharing that with you, as well as a choir song. This little miss decided to join me bright and early this morning. She's helping me cook today. She's usually my little early bird. Haven will just, she was up this morning. They were both crying. I think Hope woke her up. thought I'd take this chance while the potatoes are boiling, while I'm waiting for them to finish, to show you my roses. Ethan got these for me. I was having a bad day, uh, maybe the beginning of this week, and he surprised me with some flowers. I cry every time he does that, and I did probably like six times that day. It was just so sweet. But you can see behind the roses, the window is all fogged up. All the windows are fogged up from the amount of steam coming out of those potatoes. And it's finally a little bit cool outside today. It probably won't last, but Ethan was wearing his honorary fall jacket. We'll see how long he can keep it on. But yeah, we're all very hopeful for fall. Okay, so let's talk about this pie. We're gonna start out by adding three eight ounce packages of softened cream cheese to the mixing bowl. I just mix it until it's smooth and then add in the next ingredient. Oh, actually there's only four main ingredients I should mention for this whole filling. It's super easy, which is one of the reasons I love it so much. Okay, and here we're gonna pour in the heavy whipping cream and mix it in. Just kind of thins it out a little bit before we add in the powdered sugar. Yeah, this is probably the most sinful recipe that exists in this whole whole wide world as far as fat content is concerned. All the calorie counters probably just fainted flat out cold while I poured that in, but it gets worse. Just hold on. There. Do you see that? I added some more. Really, this probably has enough fat in it to be considered ketogenic if you're trying to justify it in any way. And there's berries. I mean, so this is basically healthy to the core. And now we're gonna add in the powdered sugar to thicken up the mixture just a wee little bit and then we're gonna um, mix that in too. It just adds the sweet factor and it's all really just according to what you want it to taste like. I tend to have a little bit of a sweet tooth so I'm adding in about a cup and a quarter and really I just dumped in the rest of the bag that was in my cupboard. I didn't measure it but it was around a cup and a quarter. Probably not exactly. Most of the time I add in some vanilla, but today I forgot. Don't tell nobody. After a good mix, I pour the filling into the pre-baked pie shell. And if you're going to be adding something a little bit heavier to the top of the pie, like big slices of strawberries or something like that, you may want to refrigerate this before you add them in. You can put just about anything and everything on top of this pie. Today I chose blackberries, which weren't heavy enough to sink in or just get that general pathetic look before it was actually time to eat it. I love how fresh and pretty this turned out. Obviously, I mutilated my pie shell again. I need to work on that. But the actual filling and the berries are so light and beautiful that I feel like it justifies the pie shell a little bit, kind of redeems it. What is it, Hopi? Yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, also, little confession moment. When Ethan and I first got married, this pie was my saving grace because church potlucks scared the living daylights out of me. 
I was, you know, just a newlywed trying to get established as the 24-7 cook of our house and nothing seemed scarier than having to take the walk of shame back to the car with a full leftover crock pot of untouched food. This pie, I never had to worry about that. And if you use the recipe, I know you won't either. <laughs> As you can see, Miss Haven joined the land of the living, and Hope is trying to get Haven's breakfast. Hope, is that nice? Mm -hmm. Can you give Hopey a Cheerio? No. no. Oh my goodness. She said no. We're gonna have to work on sharing a little bit. Hopey. No, no. No, no.